Hey, Maury, thank you. Tonight, we know the name of the man who police say shot and killed four people outside of Eau Claire before killing himself. Police say Richie German Jr. likely shot and killed his mother, brother, and eight-year-old nephew sometime over the weekend before shooting and killing a 24-year-old woman and injuring her parents. The Chippewa County community, they are still trying to come to grips with how this all happened. Fox 9's Hannah Flood is live from the sheriff's office with the very latest tonight. Hannah? Well, Kelsey, Randy, I think the biggest question here tonight is still how did Richie German know this 24 year old victim and why did he kill her? The sheriff pointing out some items in the car that German was driving, some handcuffs and a gun suggests that this might have been an abduction attempt. And he's drawing some pretty chilling similarities between this case and the case with Jamie Kloss. What is the motive? What was the motive? Why did this happen? I don't have that answer. We're working on that answer. That question may never be answered. The Chippewa County Sheriff says it's still not clear why Richie German Jr. killed three of his family members sometime on Friday night or Saturday morning. But the biggest mystery, why did he come to this house 10 miles away on Sunday night? We heard boom, you know, just random blasts. A neighbor describes when she heard gunshots coming from the house next door where the Vang family lived. A GoFundMe page now set up to support the Vangs shows a picture of the family. Neighbors say they'd lived in their home for about 30 years. Um, they're quiet to themselves, very nice, very giving. Um, it was just last week that um, the wife of the household, she brought over two large bags of vegetables just out of the kindness of her heart. Police say both parents were shot in the hand and that German shot and killed one of their daughters, 24-year-old Laylee Vang, before taking his own life. For this to happen, is, this random act is absolutely crazy. Random because the only connection police can find between German and Vang are text messages. It looked like he was trying to, uh, it was sexual in nature. And police say Vang's response was that she didn't know him. The question is, uh, what was his intentions? Was his intentions to take this young gal, uh, similar to what happened in Barron County? So the similarities that the sheriff is pointing out between this case and the Kloss case is the seemingly randomness of the crime, that a shotgun was used to get into the house and that the parents were shot. Now, the parents in this case, the Vangs, they do have some injuries, but they are expected to be okay. And the Chippewa County Sheriff's Office says all of this is still under investigation. In Chippewa Falls, Hannah Flood, Fox 9.